Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys today in this video I am going to tell you how to fix contact poster not working issue on iPhone after iOS 17. So guys many iPhone users are complaining about their contact poster is not working on iPhone in iOS 17. So guys if you are also facing this issue so don't worry in this video I am going to tell you how to fix this contact poster not working issue on iPhone. First of all, a simple step is to restart your iPhone. A simple restart can often fix minor software glitches that may be preventing contact poster from working properly. Simply tap on your settings, go back, then go to general, scroll down and then tap on shutdown. Shut down your iPhone and then restart it after 15 to 20 seconds later. After restarting your iPhone, then you have to make sure your name and photo sharing is enabled. To do this, simply you have to go to your settings and go to contacts. then you can see eruption my info you have to make sure that these all are enabled from enabling it and you are still facing the same issue then you have to make sure then you have to make sure show my cell cellular id is unable to do this simply you have to go to your phone scroll down and go to show my caller id you have to make sure that your show my caller id is enabled if it is disabled then simply enable it after enabling it and you are still facing the same issue then you have to update your iPhone, 5, iPhone to the latest version of iOS. So guys Apple often releases update that fix bug and improve performance. So you have to go to your settings and then go to general, tap on software update and you have to make sure that your iPhone is up to date to the, to the latest version of iOS. If there is any update available in this set, software update then you have to make sure your iPhone is New iPhone using, is using the latest version of iOS 17. After applying this all solution and you are still facing the same issue then you can try reset your iPhone settings. This will restore your iPhone settings to their factory default. To do this simply you have to go back and then go to your transfer or reset iPhone. Tap on reset. Tap on reset all settings. Enter your passcode and fix your issue. So guys if this video helps you then make sure to like and subscribe my YouTube channel for upcoming videos and thanks for watching.